Hello everyone and welcome back to Abundantly Minimal. It's been way too long since my last upload, but today I wanted to share a furniture transformation I recently completed. And I'd always wanted to update a piece of old furniture, but finally had my chance recently. My parents were actually trying to get rid of their old china cabinet. It was sold to them as a set when they moved into their home, uh, but later they realized it wasn't really as nice as they'd hoped. and. They talked to local thrift shops and no one wanted it. So I thought, hey, you know what? This is my chance. Let's see how this goes. And I was prepared that if it didn't go well, you know, no big deal. But I absolutely love how it turned out and I can't wait to show you how I did it. So I'll walk through the general steps here. Uh, I did make one mistake, which I'll talk about in the footage when we get to that point. But basically the first step was to remove the hardware, uh, any handles and whatnot. So that was pretty quick and easy. And there was a gloss on the china cabinet. So I used the product Crud Cutter Gloss Off with a rag and well with a, several rags to get it off. And it was actually quite easy. Um, you basically just applied the solution to the rag and scrubbed on it. And that basically did the sanding step as well as really got the gloss off it was very satisfying to see it happening. My mom was over helping me get started, so I don't have footage from that first section, but we were able to work very quickly. Then what I should have done is start with a primer. Uh, this one we ended up using later was the Zinsser BIN Shellac Primer and Sealer. Um, I just had started with the white chalk paint in the center and unfortunately later I discovered some bleed through from the tannins in the wood which prevented it from having that really nice uh, polished finish. Um, it wasn't an issue on the exterior pieces of the china cabinet but like the interior pieces and shelves which is where we chose to do white uh, that was where it was especially a problem. So start with the primer don't make my mistake but uh, part, part of this you see me using just the regular white paint and then later I'll switch over <laughs> to the primer. I would I used that on the inside and then I was using the chalk paint on the outside. Now I had never worked with chalk paint before but it was actually really easy uh, and, and quite enjoyable to use. Uh, the brand I used was Rust-Oleum's Chalked Paint. Um, we've done a lot of home projects with Rust-Oleum products so um, that's kind of why I chose it. I think it was also a little cheaper. And we used the color Aged Gray on the outside and then White Linen on the inside and we loved the way the colors turned out. I used a four inch foam roller to apply the paint and originally we had bought some at the hardware store but since there's none super close to us, I ended up finding them at a much bigger discount on um, Amazon through a set and those ended up being um, the same quality and uh, it was nice having way more of them for, for less. Kind of my format, I would use a paintbrush to cut in on the edges and for more detailed spots and then I would use the roller for larger sections and just wanted to make sure everything stayed smooth. Uh, as we were, as it was drying. The toughest parts were definitely inside the cabinet doors and when there were extra details, but the paint did dry in about 30 minutes. So that made it nice to do extra coats. I know I had previously stained a console table and you had to wait so much longer between coats of stain. So I was really glad that this was a quick drying project. I did need to tape the inside of the glass portions of the china cabinet. There were two glass sections and while I had started prepping uh, the third glass section in the middle so it was more like a cabinet, I ended up not doing that part after I realized I liked the open vibe of it with just the two glass sections on the side. Everywhere on the exterior there were two coats of the gray chalk paint. But then on the interior, everything had four coats. And basically that was two coats at first, but then realizing there was bleed through. So then I did one coat of the primer to hide the tannins and then finally finished with one more coat of the white chalk paint. However, inside the drawers, I had only started with one coat of the chalk paint. So I did two coats of the primer just because those seemed like there might have been more bleed through and I had only done the one coat. Previously, 
and then it ended up being a fourth coat at the end by adding a second coat of the white chalk paint. Something to note with the primer product is that it definitely requires good ventilation and I also just added some eye protection while applying that because that was definitely a much stronger smell than the chalk paint. A tip that I find is very helpful, save your paint trays and rollers in garbage bags to help prevent them from drying out between the days of your projects. That makes a huge difference not having to go through as many rollers and um, trays. Definitely helps doing that. I had one for white and one for gray paint. Part of the fun of these different home projects is wearing my worst clothing, which of course ended up in the video here, but um, here you can see I got a bunch of gel stain on my shoulder when I was staining the console table. Definitely not my favorite project. <laughs> I did have some leftover paint in the tray when I was done with the white paint, so I ended up just doing some more coverage on the back. I figure if it sort of gets moved, then you don't see as much of the brown color. Of course, some people might think I'm crazy for painting the brown color and think it's beautiful. You know, everyone's got their own taste. I personally don't want that color in my house, um, but of course, everyone's, uh, you know, got a different set of uh, what they're looking for. Here's some more detail work on uh, the middle section. Honestly, the chalk paint was just really easy to use the entire time and definitely made me think about if there were other places uh, where a chalk paint project could, could be used. And definitely very satisfying to pull the tape off the glass. Fortunately, very few touch-ups were needed. So that's always a maybe more stressful part and was really glad it worked out. And I could not be happier with how it turned out. Honestly, it far exceeded my expectations. It was pretty easy to do all in all, and especially had I known to do the primer up front, it would have taken even less time. But total, this was about three days of work, not working the entire day. And the first day I did have some help from my mom. And my parents actually even liked the look of the project so much that they decided to use a black chalk paint on one of their existing pieces uh, that was also included as part of this set that they weren't really a fan of anymore. And uh, I thought that just looked so beautiful too. So if you're on the fence about, hey, should I try using chalk paint or should I try to, you know, finish, refinish any pieces of furniture, let's say if you know, you're know you at an estate sale or a garage sale or a thrift shop and you find an interesting piece, or of course, maybe even if there's a piece you have that you'd like to give some fresh life to, this was so fun and ultimately you know, worked out quite well. So that's it for today's video here. I look forward to actually making more videos soon. Can't wait to get, catch you guys up on, on what's been going on and we'll see you soon. Bye.